flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. you the blunt one. You are aware that I too know the thirst for the Scarlet Nectar. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion. But I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Is our little mystery closer to being solved, Dr. Reed? I think of nothing else, my lady. My situation is delicate, and it occupies all my thoughts. The blackmail must stop. I need assurance.
You are going to reveal all your secrets to me. Even the darkest thoughts in your heart. My blood and Simpletons, soul. these nurses. Bred with no respect. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> How brave, threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's fame. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. Where one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. <laughs> Miss Jones, greetings. How do we feel? Oh, again? Waking a poor old woman in her sleep. There isn't a poor life needs saving somewhere. Now, I need to ask you a few simple questions. Well, if you really must. Have you noticed any suspicious comings or goings? It would be a great deal easier to make a list of things unsuspicious in this house of charlatans. I'll come and visit you shortly. Good night, Miss Jones. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities.
It's locked. I cannot enter. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. 
Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor.
I want to see the sky, feel the fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Yes. Yes, I'll, I'll be. As soon as I can see the sky again. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Yes. Yes, I'll, I'll be. As soon as I can see the sky again. What sort of creature is this? Oh! <laughs> 
Here's what's left of him. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Ugh. <sighs> 
It's locked, all right. Steady, boys! We've got one of them...
I cannot enter. It's locked. Neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ash. His blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow.
What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. There's no one in. There's nobody here. Nobody at home. I cannot enter. I will return later. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial.
locked, all right. No one's there. Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. It's a I must talk to the journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Right then. Show me what you have. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist. I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I'll know her. 
One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Soon the time will come when you will all be judged for your sins. Even now, he judges your words and actions. The wars of men should not be your main concern. The disease upon us is not an accident of nature, but the punishment of a divine will. <laughs> <laughs>